Okay, let's uh, talk about the audit data flow task. So there's a data flow task, um, you know, so it's it's only for use in the data flow uh, called audit. And what this allows you to do is add a column that has audit information. in it. This is a lot like using the derived column. It adds a column to the data flow, um, but it gives you a list of columns that you can add. And you can't add to this. Obviously, if you want to create your own columns, you would, you, then you actually would use the derived column. Um, so, for example, we can pick um, the package ID and we can uh, decide what name we want that column to have. And now once we hit OK, there will be a new column added to the flow with uh, that audit information in it. And so that way, when you go back and look at the data in the database, you know which package loaded that data into that table. Um, you could also find out uh, what user loaded it, um, you know, which user ran the package, uh, which task ID did it, which machine did it, uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, these will all have to be separate columns, though, and, and that would be fine. You can make it very searchable if you leave them in separate columns. But what you might want to do, if it's just sort of a gut check kind of thing, you just, just want to leave like a breadcrumb crumb audit trail, you could munge them, all those columns together into a single column by, again, using the derived column. So you could put the derived column down, and um, then you could create an expression in the derived column that concatenates all the data together. And um, that's about all I wanted to say about it. Thanks.